Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create module overlaps on scroll with a Divi's scroll effects. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Let's give this page a name and click on use TV builder. Okay, so for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click here on start building. Next, we're going to come over here to our header area because we need to add our top and bottom margins. And to do that, we're going to come over here to the design tab, click on spacing. And for our top and bottom padding, we're going to set this to 10%. Click on this chain icon to add the exact same space, both to the top and the bottom. Once done, I'm going to hit save, and then we're going to add our columns. So I'm going to add a single column here. We'll go ahead and select that. Now let's go in and customize our row. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and we're going to go into design because the first thing we need to do is to add a bottom margin. So I'm going to click here on uh, spacing and our bottom margin here is going to be 100 pixels. Okay, so now that I've added that, the next step now is to add a text module to column one. So I'm going to save this, click on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. Next, I am going to give this a title. So we're going to call this vintage shop and we want this to be set to heading two. So highlight it, click on this drop down and set this to heading two. Now let's customize this text. So we're going to come over here to the design tab. And in the design tab, we are going to target heading two. So I'm going to click on heading text, heading two. And let's change this to a brill fat face. I'm going to select that. Now let's head over to our text size. And here we're going to set this to 100 pixels. So we want this nice and big and then save. Next, we're going to add a divider. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for my divider and select it. Now let's head over to our design tab because we need to add our color. So online, so here under line, I'm going to add my color. I'm going to paste it in here. It's going to be a very dark gray and our line style needs to be solid and the position needs to be set to top. Okay, great. Now let's move on to sizing because here we're going to make a few adjustments. So our divider weight is going to be six and for our width is going to be 10%. Okay, so now we're done here. I'm going to save. And the last module we're going to add is a text module. So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. And here is where you add your text. So I'm just going to add that line of text. Now let's head over to our settings here. So I'm going to go into text. And here we're going to uh, choose our font and our font is called Carla. There we go. I'm going to select that. And now we need to set our size. So currently we are at 14 pixels. Let's set it to 18. And for our line height, we're going to set this to 2.2 EM. So I'm just going to give this, you know, some line height, which is easier to read. So uh, as you can see here, our text is above this divider. So let's change that. So I'm going to save. And then I'm just going to go in and just drag it to the bottom here, just below our line. Right, so the next step now is to add another. So the next section now is to add another row. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. We're going to add two equal columns. And now let's go in and make a few customizations here to our rows. So I'm going to click here on row settings and go to design. First things first, we need to come over here to sizing, activate, use custom gutter width. And uh, right now it's set to three. The space between the columns is a bit too much. So let's bring this down to one. And uh, we also need to set our widths. So we're going to start here with our width, drag it to 100%. And for our maximum width, we also want this at 100%. So all our designs are just going to be edge to edge. So now we need to add an image to column one. So I'm going to save this, click on this plus button. And let's search for our image module. I'm going to select it. And the image that we're going to use can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Now, I've already gone ahead and uploaded it. So I'm going to click here. And in my media library, this is what the image looks like. I'm going to click upload an image. So now we're going to come over here to our background and add our background image of choice. So I'm going to click on this plus button. Now we have a few images here. So I'm going to go with this one. Now, one thing to note here is the image that we're using here has a transparent background. And that is why it's not showing 
any information on the back here. Now, there's a few things we need to do here, and that is to make sure that uh, our background image size is set to cover and also our background image position is set to center. So now that we've done here, there's one more thing that we need to do and that is to force our image here to go full width. So I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing and force full width. Now it's time to add a text module. So I'm gonna save this and I'm going to click on this plus button search for my text module and select it so here is where you can add your own text so i'm just going to call this camera and i'm also going to add my description text in here so what we're going to do now is to highlight the camera text and set this to heading three now let's change the background color so i'm going to come over here to background click on this plus button and add my color so now you can see that my text has been covered with this background now let's go to our text settings and customize the text. So I'm going to click here on design. So let's start here with our text font. So I'm going to go into my text font and let's change this to color. And here it is. That's because I've used it before. We're going to set the size to 18 pixels. We're also going to adjust our line height to 2.2. And for our text color, we can either add white or we can just change this from dark to light. Now let's go back and uh, this time we need to customize our heading text. So we're going to come over here, go to heading three and let's change our font here to a brill. There we go. And now it's time to change our font weight, set this to bold and then the text, we need to set this to 50 pixels. Next, let's head over here to sizing. So what we're going to do here is set our width to 70%. And for the module alignment, we want this centered. And now let's add our margins to give this some breathing space. So let's scroll down to spacing. So let's start off with adding our margin. So for our margin, I'm going to set this to minus 26. Now you need to make sure that this is minus 26%. In fact, all the sizes we're going to be adding here, it's all in percentage. Okay, so now let's move on to our padding. So we're going to start off with our top. And this is going to be 15%, both to the top and the bottom. And uh, for the left and right, we're going to set this to 10%. So again, it's going to be equal sizes, both on the left and the right. Now it's time to add our motion effect. So I want to come over here to advanced, scroll effects. And we need the first one here. So for this to take effect, you need to make sure that you enable vertical motion. So with that enabled now, we can go in and do our settings. So the first here is going to be four. And then right here, it's going to be another four and zero. Okay, so that is important. Next, we are going to drag this all the way down until we get to 5%. And then we're going to drag our viewport top all the way down until we get to 10%. So that's all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and save. Now, what we also need to do is to add a button. So I'm going to click on this plus button here and search for my button module and select it. Next, I'm going to come over here to design alignment. Make sure that our button is aligned center. Now let's go to our button settings. So for our button settings, we need to go to button and then activate use custom styles for button. Right. So now with this selected, let's start off with our size. So this needs to be 20%. Now for our button text color, we're going to set this to gray. Now I know we've used this color before, so let's go ahead and select it. For our button background color, we're going to set this to white. And for our button border width, we're going to set this to zero. And for our border radius, we're going to set this to one. Now let's add our button font. So I'm going to scroll down here and let's choose our font. And this is going to be color. And I know we've used this before, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. And also we need to set our weight to bold. And then over here, we can add our icon if we need to. Now let's head over to spacing because here we need to give our button some breathing space. So let's start with our top margin. So for our margin top, we need to set this to minus four. So I'm going to come in here, set this to minus four. So now you can see our button has gone into that background that we created earlier on. Now we need to go in and add our padding. So we're going to add a top and bottom padding of 2%. Activate my chain. And for my left and right padding, we're going to set this to 7%. So I'm going to go in and add it here. Activate my chain. So now 
that button area is nice and big. And that's all we need to do. I'm going to save. So now that we have this all set, what we need to do now is to duplicate this and add all these elements over here to the right. So to do that, I'm just going to come over here to my row settings. I'm going to delete the second one and then just duplicate this. So now we have two identical ones. So we're going to save this. And then over here, I just need to change my text here. So I'm going to go into my text settings and this is going to be utensils. We're going to save that. And we're also going to change this image. So I'm going to go in here, go to our background, click on the third tab and change my image. So the image I'm going to go with is this one here, upload an image, and then we're going to save. And then if you want to add another row, what you can do is duplicate this one more time. And now we're going to have all four of them. So all you have to do now is to go in and change this image here, this image, the text over here, and also the text over here. Now, once all that is done, you should have a design that looks similar to this and the animations will be working as well as you scroll. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.